Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Katya and I live in Russia and I'm from Russia. I'm a Russian English speaking YouTuber. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You are welcome here. I usually post different family vlogs about the life of my lovely family of five here in Russia and tell you about different interesting events around us. But nowadays I should say it's really hard to be a Russian YouTuber here on YouTube. But my dearest friends, if you want to go for a walk with me, to listen to my story, maybe just to see some beautiful views and so on, let's go. Today I just decided to talk to you how to tell you how all these sanctions affect simple people, ordinary families here in Russia. By the way, I wanted to tell you that recently so many Russian YouTubers changed the names of their channels. They decided to get rid of this dreadful word Russia, Russian and so on. I'm not sure that I'm going to do the same because as for me I'm not afraid to be Russian. I'm not ashamed to be Russian. I love being Russian. Just look at this view. I stopped to show you it. So so beautiful. So snowy. And the sun is shining right into my face. Maybe I should go a little bit farther. Just look at these fir trees. So, so nice. My husband used to work for IKEA. And I dreamt to go to IKEA one day and to buy everything that I wanted there. Because I wanted a lot of things from IKEA. I love it very much. And we do not have it here in Volgograd, but nowadays, because of the pandemic, you can work from any part of Russia. It is, it is one of the advantages, if I can call it like this, of that pandemic. It was really good to work for such a great company, to be confident of your future, to be sure that tomorrow you will have everything you need, you will have money, you will have you will have your good life. People are losing their jobs and it's the main problem of an average Russian person, of an average Russian family, because our life is still going on, nothing has changed, we still need to buy food, we need to grow up our children, we need to do something with this. And everything has become much more expensive extremely expensive and I do not even speak about the cars, some gear, some mobile phones, TV sets and so on. We can live without it. But I speak about the medicines. Even the food has become much more expensive. <laughs> Just look at it. It is the 10th of March, guys. It is spring. Do you like it? the real Russian spring, but it's it's typical of Volgorod, I should say. It is always snowy here in spring. Something weird is happening. <sighs> Grigori is sleeping. I can see his nose. <laughs> he is hidden there inside of my stroller. The park is absolutely empty, I should say, but it's such an amazing place. I love it so much. It is perfect for walks. It is very, very nice here. And this day, it is so enjoyable, even though it is frosty, cold. So, to make the long story short, I've decided at the end of this video to make a short list of all the results of the foreign sanctions in our lives. First of all, we have lost all our plans. We can't predict anything now and we do not know what is going to happen tomorrow. The second important point, we have lost our jobs and the sources of income. As for me and my family, we have both lost the sources of income. It is a big problem nowadays because every day more and more companies are leaving the Russian market, more and more people are losing their jobs. The Russian part of YouTube was demonetized, Instagram was demonetized and almost banned here or not banned, but the Russian users were ban banned here. TikTok banned the Russian users and so on. 
A lot of people have lost the sources of their income and they need to search for some work. The third important point, everything has become much more expensive and at the same time we have lost all our savings because the exchange rate has changed so greatly and our money has turned into paper. And at the same time we can't get any bank loans nowadays. I do not even speak about mortgage loans and so on. We can't get even simple loans. And the fourth important point, we are cancelled everywhere. We are hated, no one expects us anywhere. Many people have decided to immigrate to leave Russia, but nowadays it is said that abroad no one welcomes us and uh, our people can't even book an apartment in Georgia for example and so on. A lot of people from my husband's work faced such a problem because it was difficult for them to get an apartment, to get a hotel room abroad in some countries. Even those ones who want to leave Russia and to start their life somewhere far from Russia, they can't do this. And the rest of people just need to adapt here to the current situation. As for me, I'm not going to leave Russia and I want to speak about it in another video. I need to adapt, I need to think about the future, I need to get out of this horrible situation and I think that it is all for today, my dearest friends. It's high time for me to return back for my children to end my video. Thank you very much for being with me, for spending this evening with me in this beautiful park. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. I love you so, so much. And I'm not scared to share my thoughts here. I'm not scared to smile here. And I know that I won't be accused of anything bad. I know that I can trust you. And that is priceless. This YouTube channel is really the part of my soul. It is my safe place. And I care about it most. I hope I will never be banned here on YouTube and I will always have access to my YouTube channel, to my audience. I love you, my friends. Love you so, so very much. And I will keep on sharing my family vlogs with you because it is my life. It is really important for me and I can't stop doing this. I don't want to offend anyone. I do not want to harm anyone. And I apologize for doing this to some people. I'm really sorry, but I hope that you can understand me too. So, thank you one more time very, very much for watching this video. Let's stay together, let's stay strong. We need to wake up every morning, think about everything, how to cope with this situation, what to do. We need to smile, we need to be strong, and I'm sure that we will be finally happy. Thank you, my dearest friends, and bye-bye.